the ninth house from Taurus is the master key from previous life. How many of you agree to this? How many of you do not agree to this? Sir, I'm not even aware of the dictum as of now. Who's speaking? Sir, Aditi. Okay. Anybody else? Then I'll teach. It will take some time. It's not part of this course. It is part of the beginner's course. It's not even part of the beginner's course, but I don't mind teaching because it's a spiritual astrology. The problem is anybody who's into astrology knows this, but they leave it at that and go away. They don't treat it as a master. They treat it as an evil. Anybody who does not know this, say yes or no, depending on the consensus, depending on the people present here. Sir, How many I also don't know. Oh, I, I also did not know, sir. Sir, please teach that. this. Yes. Sir, please yes. teach it. Yes, sir, please. Yeah. Publish so, teachers. See, I'll teach a part, what everybody in astrology knows. And after that, in one or two lines, I will teach the mistake being done by astrologers in the last 5,000, 10,000. Okay? Does everybody know what's Chara Rashi? Chara Rashi means movable Rashi. And what are these movable Rashis or which are the movable Rashis? 1, 4, 7, 10. That means Aries, four, four, Cancer, Libra and Capricorn. Correct? So let us take Mesha Lagna, Aries Ascendant. This is called Badhak concept. What is the meaning of the word Badak? Obstacles. Can everybody see this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So for Aries, Cancer, Libra Ascendant and Capricorn Ascendant. The Badak house, the obstacle house, will be the eleventh from it. So for Mesh Lagna, which will be the sign in eleventh house? Various, sir. Various. For Cancer, it will be Taurus. Correct? For Libra, it is Leo. 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 For Capricorn, Scorpio. 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 Correct? Yes. So, for these Lagnas, these signs in the 11th house will become Badak. And the Lords of it that means Taurus Lord will be Venus, Leo Lord will be Sun, Scorpio will be Mars Ketu, Aquarius would be Rahu and Saturn. They will become Badakesh, Lord of Badak. So can you can, can you just repeat once more, sir, please? Yes, yes. Who's speaking? Devushri, sir. For all movable ascendants, that is Mesh. Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. The eleventh house, one. Second, the eleventh house sign. Third, the eleventh lords. Fourth, any planet sitting in the eleventh house. Write this down. All this will become Badak, Badakesh. This is a very important concept. If you understand this concept, at least 10, 20 predictions you can do. Only with this concept. But I didn't understand the last one. For movable signs, the 11th sign, 11th house, becomes obstacle house. Any planet placed over there, suppose Jupiter is placed over there. Jupiter also becomes Badakesh. 
along with the lord of that sign suppose the it is taurus is sitting in the 11th house okay so who is the lord of taurus venus so venus will become badakesh along with jupiter who is placed in that house are you getting it so for a kark ascendant native taurus will be in the 11th house correct so you tell him some members in your family especially women can be obstacle creators now i will tell you a prediction which nobody does with this concept one is vijay chauhan second is vijay dinanath chauhan full name so the full technique is you see cancer ascendant you say some women in your family life or in your network of friends because 11th house is network of friends especially if that woman wears on a regular basis a pearl necklace such a woman might be your best friend but can give you wrong advice this one sir think why pearl necklace anybody why this necklace is because moon is exalted there excellent amitesh but did we ever think to use oh necklace torus neck and since moon is exalted there so pearl necklace excellent debash but nobody uses this technique are you all understanding are you all understanding yes, yes sir sir yes sir how do you use this concept further here we took lagna for cancer people stop here then there are few select people in astrology who use badak concept irrespective of lagna suppose the ascendant is gemini cancer will be second house of money correct the badak house or it will be 12th house where taurus is sitting if venus is placed here with aspect of 6th lord or 8th lord then this gemini ascendant will land up giving pearl as gifts to women this is one prediction this has happened what i'm saying is it has happened now you go to a level which others don't use such women this gemini ascendant native <laughs> bought a pearl necklace for his wife as he was out of town so every time he comes from out of town he buy something for the kid and for the wife the wife says why don't you buy something for my mother in law and sister in law the native says this all husbands land up serving their mother in law more and their sister in laws more to make the wife happy so he had to buy pearl 
Why? The wife said, if I wear pearl, if I show them I'm wearing pearl, original pearl, they will feel jealous. So give it to them also. So it is like buy one, get two free. Are you all understanding how this is working? Now, any man does not like to spend too much money because he has to take off the family expenses, monthly expenses. Women love their husbands to spend money, especially on their mother and sister. Am I right or wrong? Please vote for me, all the gentlemen present here today. Yes, sir. Uh, Only no, one person is tortured, Pradeep Yes, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All, all other yes, men are very lucky, it seems. They don't have Badak or Badakesh. <laughs> yes, sir. Sir, this is very true what you just said about gifting pearls. Hmm. I was just seeing in my chart Aquarius Lagna, fourth house is Taurus, and so Badakesh would be the uh, second house. Hmm. So uh, that would be family, my mother. And this is in the earlier times, you know, uh, the, the Bithan ladies used to come and to yeah. sell pearls. One, one, one second. Taurus is in second house. Is Sorry, fourth, fourth house. Fourth is house. Fourth house. Huh. So and the second house would be Badakesh for uh, the fourth house. No, no, no. Sir. No, no, madam. You're no, no. no. Sir. Has to be yeah. a movable sign. One, okay. four, seven, ten. Good, you took this example. Okay. One, four, seven, ten. Any movable sign, the eleventh house from it will be Badak. Oh, okay. So this is the. Yeah, okay, fine. Now I get it. Taurus would be Badak for your for sixth. Cancer. cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for cancer. So yes. the prediction is. Some give. of your relatives would have gifted her pearls. Or some of your relatives don't have good intention regarding your property or they are jealous of it. Right. Are you? That's I do not know if it is true. Yes, sir. Absolutely. So this is how you do prediction with Badak. Okay. Is everybody understanding? People don't use Badak for this. Sir, okay. uh, can I say something? Sure. Uh, sir, last uh, November, I went to Andaman, brought a pearl necklace for my mother. I just checked. Uh, I am a Libra Lagna. Moon is in the 12th house, uh, Kanya Rashi. And at that point of time, when I gifted her, Venus and Moon was in the 12th house. Excellent. Excellent. So, Yes, Prashna, we can also do this in Prashna. Yes. So, we have now covered movable sign. Let us go to fixed signs. Fixed signs Lagna or fixed sign in any house. Which are the fixed signs? Two, five, eight, eleven. Five, eight, eleven. Yes. Correct. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Write this down, especially the young ones. Okay. Ninth house from fixed signs. Write this down. Ninth house from fixed signs will be the Badak house. And the lord of it will be Badakesh. Planet place in the ninth house will again act like Supreme Badakesh. Please understand quickly, in South of India, they use for this different words, terminology. Badakadi Pati, owner of Badak. You are getting it? Yes, sir. <laughs> Now, what did I... Now, this is a concept. You go for movable sign. 11th house is Badak. What is 11th house? Elder siblings, money, and uh, 
network of French desires. This four words, five words, whatever are the significations, we will use. We will use in later stage today as spiritual astrology. Madhav, we say negative. There is nothing negative in life if you go into spirituality. Everything are lessons, 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 which you have to master and go ahead. Let's come back to fixed signs. Two, five, eight, eleven. Okay. So, Taurus. What did I say about Taurus? Taurus people, Taurus ascendant, Taurus moon sign can be a lazy sign. It works hard only when they want to work. Otherwise, like a bull, they'll be standing still. Have you seen a bull graze? Yes, sir. Taurus can be super lazy. Yeah, because it's a sign of luxury. <sighs> Daman Bhir Singh has asked a very advanced question, which is often asked in uh, social media forums. I've been seeing this question from 20 years on Yahoo group earlier times, now Facebook groups and all that. Let's not ask advanced questions for people right now. Please remember, no, no, no problem. I'll just answer you quickly. You know, in life, there are some people in your life who are good for you and at the same time they are bad for you. Are you understanding? It is like smoking or alcohol. When you are doing it, you enjoy, you feel that's the pleasure of life. That is like yoga karak. I'm answering your question, Daman. But at a later stage, it becomes a rogakarak. Rogakarak. When I was young, I used to love going to parties. At that time, I was in media industry. It used to be fun networking with people, industrialists actors, actresses, etc. and all that. And I used to feel it will further my career. As I grew in my journey, I realized all that was a waste of time. When I was young and attending those parties, I used to feel I have the best of friendship circle. Later, as I grew up, I realized the only friend I, re I need in my life is myself. And most of us are not friends with ourselves. We search for friends outside. We are not friends. We are not best friends with ourselves. That is the answer to this question, yoga karak plus bhata. It is like yoga karak will give you a lot of money. Will give you a lot of property. But that property becomes the cause for evil eye among from the neighbors, from your relatives. Are you getting it? For example, fame. Fame can be your biggest boon. And later it becomes your biggest enemy. For example, an actor, okay, an actor, when he's starting off, he wants to go out in functions, be recognized, he wants to go out on the street, be recognized, etc. and all that, okay. Then when he grows up, he will wear goggles, glasses, dark glasses, so that people don't recognize, especially when He's having an extramarital affair and going out with his girlfriend. Am I right or wrong, ladies and gentlemen? 
Make sense how this is functioning? Coming back, Taurus is luxury. Taurus can cause laziness. Can cause laziness. Okay. So, the Badak sign for it is Capricorn. What is Capricorn? Karma. In the natural zodiac, it is the 10th house of karma, career, etc. Okay. When you are lazing around in a pool, you are not doing a karma. You are not doing a job. You are not working for your office. You are lazing around. So, work and uh, lazing around are opposite parties. Are you understanding? Either you are working or you are chilling out. Can people understand this concept easily? Yes, sir. Sir. So both are badak for each other. Are you understanding? Yes, sir. So somebody has Aquarius Lagna. How will you create a Sutra? You will see for an Aquarius Lagna, the person has to work extremely hard to create properties, to create a house for himself. Now you are understanding how we are using Badak. We are using in positive manner. Are people understanding this concept? Yes, sir. I didn't understand this particular line. When you said that for Aquarius Lagna, the native will have to work very hard to build a property. So how did you use the Badak concept? The Badak for this is Venus, Libra, right? Did you use the fact that the cancer is in sixth house or something else? I'm not sure about this. So maybe Taurus in the fourth house and that, that represents fourth. Venus. But fourth house doesn't make you do hard work. But for property, uh, the wife. It is like a Taurus in fourth house of property. Ninth from it is the Badak. Yes, the same, the Venus only. So, what is the sign over there? Capricorn. Capricorn Lord is Saturn, which is Karaka, significator of hard work. Correct? So in odd, and as such, it is sitting in the 12th house of losses. So you have to do supreme hard work, not normal hard work. So in order to create property, you will have to work hard, 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 super hard. That is the reason when an Aquarius Ascendant creates his property, he becomes very proud, like Taurus. What did I say in the first or second lecture part of Taurus? I said, Taurus feels proud after the hard work. Where is that PowerPoint? Just give me a second. Yes, sir. You said because Taurus creates, so they are very proud of their creation. Hmm. So for Aquarius, I have seen like, you know, uh, after creating property with, which required a lot of hardship, that person now really sh loves to show it off to everybody. No, this is not the slide. Ah, see the last point, the fifth point. Where Taurus sits, after it materializes something, huge ego will come due to its main focus for procreation. What did I say at that time? Aries is born. Soul is born. Taurus is, Aries is where he's alone. Taurus is where he realizes to utilize, materialize his creative concept in procreation to create something. Not necessarily children. To create something. So, you feel huge ego. That is the trap. Not necessarily ego or uh, you can say self-esteem, whatever. You know, you feel proud. 
in a positive manner. That's the reason Gemini Lagna has taught us in the 12th house, the Sutra becomes, if a gem, in Gemini Ascendant, if the person does donation, okay, he should not fall under the trap of self-praise. Are you understanding? I am a yes. Gemini Ascendant. My passion, my hero in life, right from childhood has been the uh, Mahabharata figure, Karan. For me, he's above Lord Krishna. He's above Arjun. He's above everybody in Mahabharata. So that I have always had that passion to donate. I have taken loan from HDFC Bank and done donation. Loan. I should not be saying it. But in my relatives, I do something, I just keep quiet. But some of them can be so ungrateful or so ungrateful. Then after a few years, I show them the mirror. Sometimes you have to show people that mirror. I have gone through that trap of self-ego. Are you all understanding? Everything is spiritual, provided you take it with the right intention. You can talk about your donation, you can talk about the charity you do, but not feel a, even single piece of it. It should not affect you. If it affects you, no problem. Work on it, go about it. It's natural to feel ego. Then I'll give you a small, quick example. When we go on the street in Mumbai, at least there are a lot of uh, beggars and all that. You know, you're parking your car or you're driving at the signal, you stop. Many people come and beg. 99.9% .9 of humans, including me and you all, when we give that 10 rupees to the beggar, when we give that one rupee, we don't feel much. It's natural. Right from childhood, we all have been doing that. When we give that one, 10 rupees, we feel, Bhagwan, God, bless me. Don't we do that? When at times we give 50 rupees or 100 rupees, you feel a bit of ego. It's natural. It's natural. As you do it 1,000 times, 10,000 times, you don't feel it. That ego goes away. You even stop asking God for something in return. We all go through this process. Progress in ourselves. Are you all understanding? So, Taurus, Badak sign is Capricorn. What is the spiritual lesson? Lord is Saturn. Saturn is do karma. And don't think about it. Correct? Yes, sir. So, the key, the master key to unlock Taurus is to give, you have to give the advice, is to give the advice, you want benefit, where Taurus is sitting, just do your karma. And don't think about it. It's like the Nike ad, just do it. Are you all understanding the concept? Yes. Just do it and don't think. Just do it and don't think. Mind can be how you poison your own good deeds. Am I right or wrong? Yes, sir. Your mind is the poison behind your karma and your tongue. Taurus tongue. Are you all understanding? Because so, when you do karma, when you do donation, when you do karma, you don't talk about it. You don't tell your wife, boss, you get up at 10 o'clock every morning. I get up at 4 o'clock and I do all the housework. The moment you say that, it's gone. The karma is gone. Yes, so somebody had a question. question. After that, yeah. So, uh, for Taurus ascendant, since nine from it is Capricorn, where like mm. you know we work, work is depicted by Capricorn. So sir, if Ketu is placed there, so it would make it all the more difficult to do because Ketu is detachment. Yes, yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am breathless. We're gonna have a short break. 
I want you all right now without discussion for all the fixed sign, think Leo. Okay. What will be the Badak sign, Mesha? What will be the trap? How we correlated Taurus, wealth, and property, or wherever it is sitting, to Capricorn. Right now, write it down on paper. Right now. Thinking has to happen right now. All right? I'm going to take a break. I'm going to pause the recording. My dear friend Arup Ghosh will have to remind me to restart the recording, as he usually does. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, I'll tell you. Okay. Sir, I checked in some charts. I mean, like I was just trying to figure out. Uh, I don't know if this is right or wrong. Kindly tell me. For Scorpio Ascendant, I can say that younger brother career can be a challenge. And I saw that because like, you know, uh, 10 is falling in the third house, which is like uh, Taurus is in the opposite house, like seventh house and uh, Capricorn is falling in the third house. The third house is like younger brother and 10 is career. So that's how I correlated. I don't know if this is right or wrong. I'll, I'll draw Scorpio. Sorry, I have a question. And Sarah, mother can the, the also thing. give wrong advice regarding property. Can I answer Devashree's question first, everybody? Then we can ask. I, I request you for some patience. All right. Scorpio ascendant. I'm drawing, opening the whiteboard. Okay. Scorpio Ascendant, <clears throat> which is the Badak house, ninth from it. Am I right or wrong? Correct, sir. Cancer. Cancer. Yes, sir. Let me draw it. So, cancer in the natural zodiac is property, mother. Yes, this is sir. the ninth So, ninth house is father, ninth house is guru, ninth house is religion, ninth house is rituals, ninth house is pilgrimages. Correct? Yes, sir. 12th house is also pilgrimage, so is 10th house. And Rahu is associated with the 10th house or 10th lord as per Parashar Rishi BPHS. The person will take dips in Ganga. Write this down. Very important to prove. So the first thing you have to now look Badak not as an enemy, not as an obstacle, but a lesson that you need to overcome. Devishri and everybody, Punam Kotecha, if there are no planets, what do I have to see? The sign, sorry, the house and the sign. Okay, okay. So Devishri said Scorpio. So what is the sign over there? Cancer. What is the house over there? Ninth house. Ninth house of father, religion, guru, pilgrimages. Scorpio people, forget the other planets. The blank chart prediction technique is what? Scorpio people, whenever they go on pilgrimages, it will be significant. Significant events will start right from the time they step out of the house till they board the plane or the train. When they are over there, it will happen. Visions could come. 
obstacles could come going to pilgrimages itself would become an obstacle why ninth house is the father house the obstacle house anybody scorpio here lagna later you have to put the planets the planet will support the base yoga either give the event or negate the event that's the base of our black chart prediction religion is an obstacle for them they can land up if the planet support the yoga they can land up becoming fundamental religious fanatics and they will customize religion we all land up customizing religion we all land up customizing religion but since it is a fixed lagna for example taurus leo scorpio aquarius are fixed lagnas these people land up customizing religion yes or no ayana yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. absolutely sir yes sir yes sir as it suits them yes sir यार मैंने बड़ी बात बोली यार ताली मारो यार केतु सेट्स यू हैव टू डू सिग्निफिकेशन ऑफ दैट हाउस एटलीस्ट ट्वाइस और थ्राइस एज वी वर डिस्कसिंग द टॉरस लगना एंड इन केप्रिकॉन इफ देर इज केतु सो नाइन्थ हाउस इफ टू कंबाइन नाइन्थ हाउस एंड देन टेंथ साइन एंड केतु ऑब्वियसली कॉमन सेंस डिफिकल्ट टू फाइन So, so, sir, like you know, hmm. so, sir, like you know, uh, I mean, if that is the case, so ninth house is like, how do we? I mean, how, what do we exactly have to do? As in, like ninth house is also uh, pilgrimage. Ninth house is also dharma, father. You have to do the signification of the house. I could not really understand what exactly do we have to do. We have to work thrice as hard, or what is it? Yes, obviously. Common sense says, obviously, twice, thrice, you have to work hard. You have an obstacle, the life path, and you have okay. stones. So you have to remove the stones from your journey, from your path. Got it, sir. You have sir. to overcome it. So how will you have to overcome? Leo, people of fixed people, they think they are about to do. in olden days a guru used to be extremely careful before accepting a student he would test 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 if he sees fixed lagnas like taurus leo scorpio aquarius he will be very careful why ninth house is badhak so the person will feel my guru is not allowing me to grow are you understanding yes one sir. of my jo- friends one of my jyotish friends his son is a torian lagna he son feels father is always creating obstacles in my path whatever i do it he comes up with a bigger test he doesn't realize of course the son is a kid the kid does not realize the father is like a kung fu teacher so high father is like so high the guru of jackie chan in the legendary movie called drunken master they say the best teacher the best master ever portrayed in kung fu movies was done by this limping master called so high the character's name is so high i'm talking about 30 years back this movie something like that when i was a kid i watched drunken master probably 88 or something like that that's 30 40 years whatever so point is at that point of time the student jackie chan feels the teacher is only creating obstacles he doesn't realize the teacher is making him stronger when i tell you all to do homework how do you all feel i don't want to be a student 
I passed out of college. I college no homework. I passed out of school 30 years back. You all feel that, na? Any of you feel that? Yes or no? Such yes, bolo. Of course, sir. Of course, sir. Yes, sir. Trust me. How many? Okay, think this way. How many students I have taught? taught more than 10,000 students. More than 10,000 students. And the real astrology, which I teach, I teach, or rather I used to teach, I used to teach personally over the phone, and I used to never charge money. But there, what I teach, I will not teach in the classes. That's different. Because I don't believe you are supposed to take money for teaching astrology. That's my firm belief. That's where my Mercury hypocrisy comes out. I do something to feed my family. I hate it. So I do something privately so that the sin of taking money for Jyotish does not come to me that much. So I teach. Coming back to Bada, how do you use this Bada? So for Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, the person has to go beyond the physical outreach of the Guru. Are you all understanding? He has to go beyond the rudeness of that Guru. He has to understand the Guru is faking it up so that you as a student become strong. You see the foresight. You need to have the foresight to understand. How are we as parents? We as ninth house is parents. Ninth house is father. Correct? In Gemini astrology, in a very rare commentary, ninth house, everybody takes father. They say ninth house, father, mother, parents. The late P.S. Shastri wrote an article on it in B.V. Raman's magazine, which we copied, giving credit, and we published it in Saptarishi's Astrology magazine. For the first time, that concept was introduced by P.S. Shastri from Germany Astrology. I hope you all have read books of P.S. Shastri. It's not... You all are unfortunate, especially his legend. Absolutely brilliant. Completely against all the norms of astrology has written quoting shlokas. Quoting shlokas. Whether you should take 365 days or 360 days for Dasha. Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Yes, quoted shlokas from ancient texts. Everything like that. Anyway. Even Ken Rao used to admire P.S. Shas. You need to understand that Badak is a kind of lesson of this life. That's the whole secret, which nobody takes. What I said at the very start of this lecture. I will teach you a part. I teach you a part. Please, camera is on so that I can see your eyes and understand whether you're understanding or not. So, <clears throat> Badak, everybody says as obstacle. In the south of India, they take Badak very heavily in Prashna. The first thing they do is Kashya Prashna. And in the Prashna, they take the Badak. Most important concept in South Indian Prashna system, Kerala Prashna system. Kerala is where the Prashna system developed to a humongous level. Absolutely bizarre. Whereas in the north, Prashna is not developed as it is in Kerala. So Kerala astrologers, the first thing they focus on is finding out the Arud. The Arud Lagna, there are several ways they find out. Second is Badak. Third is Curses. These three things are the backbone. Luckily in this Guru Purnima, we have a Kerala astrologer. He is going to be teaching us the concept of Tambula Prashna. Have you all heard of Tambula Prashna? I just heard. 
anyway ashtabangla yeah. prashna school of prashna all these are there they uh, many systems are there they use kauri they use betel leaves they mm -hmm. use a gold they will call a young girl below the age of 16 that means the one who's uh, what do you call that uh, periods have not menses or whatever has not started they will ask her to place the coin in any of the 12 houses they have to ensure that the person does not know astrology so that he or she does not become biased in placing the coin they place the gold coin and that becomes the aruda sir irrespective to signs the badkesh works on the planets <laughs> and the houses also <laughs> Absolutely, you know, that's what we've been expecting. Sorry? Like in the, uh, the seventh house, the mortgage will be the fifth house? Can you repeat, please? Irrespective of the signs, like uh, 1, 4, 7, and 10, the eleventh house is the mortgage. Uh, the eleventh house is the mortgage. If we see Aries Lagna, the seventh house mortgage will be fifth house? Can you be a little loud, Mr. Arun? Your voice is yes. like very low. The seventh house will have Libra. The Bada. Yes. And the is Libra. Is a, yes. And it, it, that, then I can say if, if, if the enemy of the seventh lord sits in the fifth house, then there will be a Bada in, in, in marriage. More. Or. Blindly, if you use only Badak concept in blank chart prediction, you say for this marriage to survive, the spouse has to let go of the ego and the spouse mind should be balanced. Yes, yes. yes. So when you are doing when you are doing marriage matchmaking, matching charts for a Mesha Lagna, okay. You have to ensure the woman of the bridegroom needs to have balanced mind. Or if it is opposite, the bridegroom needs to have balanced mind and not ego. Are you getting it? These are all simple strokes you can create. So coming back to it, how do you use by the concept? You have to understand what is called esoteric astrology, that is spiritual astrology. If my voice is not clear, ask me that this is just a trap that you have to overcome. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Basically for Badar, we need to have a change of attitude, right? Instead of thinking of this as Badha. Exactly. That's the lesson. What is spirituality? In spirituality, there is no body as your enemy. Your siblings are not your enemies. Your husband is not your enemy. Your wife is not your enemy. Your guru is not your enemy. Your father is not your enemy. But for example, uh, Devashree took Scorpio luck. So for a Scorpio luck, the mother is the enemy. The mother will only create obstacles or create such a mindset that you become an obstacle to everybody's life. You become a beginner. Obstacle. So it is like a secret enemy. But when you go above in spirituality, you realize that this was the test you created much before you were born in the spiritual realm. And you all are only playing a movie. You are only actors. Somebody decides to be the victim. Somebody decides to be an enemy. Somebody... You know, in Conversations with God, I hope you guys have read Conversations with God by Neil Donald Walsh. I read it many years back when I was very young. God says, where do you think so Hitler went, heaven or 
uh, hell. So Neil says, obviously, hell. He says, no, heaven. He says, heaven. Neil was shocked. He said, obviously, you're joking. He said, no. Hitler had the toughest character to play, the toughest role to play. He said, what was it? He said he had to come down on earth. He chose that character. He chose that acting, that role in this movie called Life. And his job was to teach you all jealousy, enmity, hatred, racism. Racism can lead to such a disaster. Are you all understanding? Hitler taught us not to be racist, not to be fundamentalist, not to take religion to a fundamentalist fanatic level. So today, many of us have realized it, maybe not completely, but we don't become Hitler's or Mussolini who used poison gas against enemy soldiers. He was there during the same period of Hitler, 43, 45. So are you all understanding? So when you go higher in spirituality, what do your gurus, your yogis say? Forgive your enemies. Mahatma Gandhi, do you all remember Libra Lagna? Yes or no? By now, yes. you all should remember. Yes, sir. Yes. Let's implement this mother concept. You know what is the problem with all liberal lagnas? Ego, fame. Same problem with character lagna. Ego. Fame. Why? You look at this concept. Here is Libra. Badak house is Leo. Correct? Leo is in natural horoscope. Children. He's not happy with him. One of his child wrote a book against him. Are you getting it? Leo is fame. Fame was his weapon. That is how he transformed it. Are you understanding? He went beyond the obstacle. Obvious real spirituality of astrology he implemented. Where is the Lord going? And where is who is the Lord? Sun, correct? What is the sun? Sun is government. His biggest obstacle was the British government. Right or wrong? Yes. Right. Where is it going and sitting in 12th right. house abroad? That means a foreign government. You have to catch the clues, clues, clues. Which is a sign over there? Virgo. Natural Badak sign. Write this down. There are two natural Badak signs and houses. As a sign, it's Aquarius. As a house, it is sixth house. And subsequently, Virgo. I told you this concept will take time. You have to be patient. You will have to listen to this video 10 times. So, now, Please, 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 give me a second. Let me complete. I request. Sun in the 12th house of losses. The government lost. But please understand. Bada creates hatred. Are you all understanding? Because it's an obstacle. You always hate obstacles. See the mastery of this man's soul. Have you heard anywhere in any of his lectures, speeches, 
or in any of his writings where he has written i hate the british government have you heard this no ek hi jan let us come on are you understanding kitni badi baat maine boli hai it's a big thing the way he was treated any tom dick and harry would land up hating the britishers yes or no yes sir would be natural in one second would hate the britishers yeah. look at the greatness of his spirituality he trans he went far beyond his horoscope far beyond yogis no doubt he was given the title of mahatma see and understand i know great astrologers with libra lagna their ego is so high god will bow down before them ki bhai maine galti kar diya tumhe bana ke i am sorry i made you i created you i am sorry i made a mistake god will say so hungry for fame oh my god i feel ashamed Same problem with Kirk Lagnas, Taurus. Taurus becomes this thing that procreation. I did something. That is a trap of Taurus. Every sign has a trap. Every sign has an obstacle. So you need to write down each sign. That's your homework. Write down each sign. Write down the list of obstacles in terms of. Great or in terms of relations, father, brother, this, that, etc. So, fix so signs you, we learn. So you, you said in terms of. Sorry, so I I didn't get that. You said write down each sign and relations. For example, Devashree, you said Scorpio. So nine thousand is bad. Traits is what religion, signification, religion, higher study. fix signs always will find obstacles when they want to go beyond graduation this is how you predict anybody has a fixed sign lagna you predict this but before you predict you then put the planets and see whether the planets are removing the negativity or adding to it adding to the base yoga or removing the base yoga nullifying it it is like a vaccine planets are like vaccine so fix are you understand right are you all understanding now so these are the traits religion higher knowledge spirituality pilgrimages now you come to relations who are the relations who are the relations brother in law father. sister father guru are you all understanding that's how you predict you predict you see a malefic in the ninth house you predict if it's a girl you say have she relationship with your brother in law The girl will say, "Oh, he's rascal. He cheated my husband of property, etc." One second. Darwaja pe koi hai. Darwaja dekh le. Are you all understanding? Yes. Sir. It is something. Yes, this sir. lecture, you have to spend months thinking, 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 predicting, predicting, predicting. You don't do that, it will pass you by. you don't do that it will pass you by you will miss a gem of a technique sir is it possible that one particular like the relation if the relationship is 
suffering, that means the other aspect, the traits will also suffer. Is it always essential or either of the two? So you have, you're muted, I think. You have to go back to basics, Karakas, because each relative, each signification has different planet as Karaka. So you have to double check Karaka, na? Okay. From a house, you got 10 things. Each thing will have a different karaka. Fundamentals okay. are tough. Absolutely are tough. As you all will see, in your own life, if you really analyze all your failures, all your successes, really deep analysis, maybe with meditation, etc. and all that, and all analysis, third party analysis, you will realize you are successful because your fundamentals were right from the beginning of your life. And your failures, you will realize your fundamentals were wrong. And we hate admitting our fundamentals are weak. I only concentrate, I don't even use Dasha. I don't understand Dashas. I don't even use Gochar. I don't use divisional charts except D60. I don't even bother much about now much. No time to see now much. Parashar Rishi has written D60 is the highest divisional chart and has given six points for it. The others are two, three, three point five. They're in BPHS. I only concentrate Rashi chart, planet, science, houses. So when I lecture in conferences where all senior astrologers are sitting, many I only speak fundamentals. And I ask questions when I lecture. I say, what is the karaka for this? What is the karaka for that? Many senior astrologers, they walk out. They feel insulted. I'm sorry. Because I believe my knowledge in fundamentals is supremely weak. I still need to learn houses, planet science. And that's what every day when I sit in my balcony, every time I go out and sit in my balcony, which is every 10 minutes, I only go through basic karaka, karaka, karaka. Any classical book, I only read planet sign houses. I spent decades in astrology. I'm still stuck at planet sign houses. I have not progressed. Honestly, I'm not progressed. And that's the reason I don't see charts. Maximum, I've just started or about to start, okay? Which also I'm not able to do because of my health and timing, okay? I'll do birth time rectification. So anyway, coming back to Badak, please understand and write this down as your homework. Every sign which is the Badak then you need not only use it by the concept for Lagna. For any house, any house. Now quickly, we're going to have a short break. Write this down and think about it. For dual signs, what are the dual signs? Gemini, Virgo, sorry, I'm breathless, Sagittarius, Pisces. Okay? For these lagnas, the seventh house is the Badak sign. Any planet obviously placed in it will become Badakadipati or Badakesh. The lord of the seventh sign will again become Badakadipati or Badakesh. I'm teaching it in a very broad manner, not fine tuning it with terminology. I mentioned this earlier also. So, for any dual sign Lagna, the spouse, right now what they will learn out of Vedic astrology, the normal Vedic astrology, they'll say the spouse is the obstacle. When you learn esoteric astrology, you will learn the exact opposite of what Vedic current form of Vedic astrology teaches. 
So I want you all to start looking at charts right now in this break for dual sides. Cameras on, please. I want to see whether you guys are tired. I want to see whether you guys are understanding. I want to see your eyes. I want to see your smile. Whenever I speak, I want to see your facial reactions. Seeing your faces, I keep on changing. How I'm going to teach every few seconds I change. All right. For dual science, what, what we learned first? Movable science. Then we learned fixed science. Now, dual science. All right. I'll be back after five minutes. Thank you so much. When I come back, yes, I. some people had questions. I will answer them. Sorry, I forgot about that. So have you all understood? Yes. Yeah, like I, I, I have a doubt here. Like if you consider every house, like first house, 11th house will be the barak. So uh, for the self, due to the desire and due to that, uh, the 11th house will become the barak. The first, second house, 12th will be the barak. Second house is savings. And so 12th will be the expenses. So for the second, 12th barak, in a way, in uh, expenses, uh, it will be a barak twelve. So no. every house, if you can't... Not housewise. It is not housewise. It is sign-wise. Sign so which wise. is sign in the second house, you have to see. So tell me a lagna. I'll give you an example. Any lagna? Uh, so Libra lagna. Libra lagna. So second house will be Scorpio. Correct? Yeah. Ninth sign from it. Which will be... That is in the tenth house. So which will be the sign... Over there, it will be Leo. Leo, yeah. So for second house of money, second house of family life, the person has to let go of ego, trying to be the king, trying to dominate in everything, and trying not to be lazy. Just give me a second, guys. Now, ninth house will be Cancer, say, right? From Scorpio. Sorry, what did you say? So, for uh, Libra Ascendant, second. Oh, sorry, it will be, it, it will be Karka. Correct, Karka, it will be. Yes or no? Cancer. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes sir. So again, what are the traits of cancer? Cancer, the problem is too much of flexibility. Why? It's a watery sign. What is the problem with watery signs? If you do not know it, write it down. Their principles waver like water. They are not firm and fixed like a fixed sign. So that is a trap. So when they want, they will alter their principles and call white color a black color. As per their whims and fancies, when it comes to second house matters, that is family life, money, administration, for fame, everything. And even in their karma, that would be a problem. All watery signs, that is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, have this inherent problem. They are too flexible. If you are talking ill about the government against the Prime Minister or the President, they will agree. Yes, yes, Narendra Modi is bad. He's very selfish. He's very vindictive. 
BBC created a documentary against him. The next day, there was income tax raid on BBC offices in India. See? Or if you are pro-government, pro-the president, pro-the prime minister, they will still agree with you. That is the problem. But it is not for the ascendance only. Anywhere, in any ascendant, wherever watery signs are there, we all have watery signs. We all have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, somewhere in our horoscope. There, what is the trap? Principles. We will alter our principles as per our whims and fancies, as to suit us. So what is the real advantage of astrology? You know, you know what is the trap via horoscope because you have studied astrology. So you will use it to your advantage to correct yourself. When you correct yourself, you are actually on a spiritual path. Are you all understanding? You don't need mantras. You don't need to go to churches, masjids or temples. You yourself are a church. You yourself are a temple. You yourself are God. Coming back to dual science, seventh house of business, seventh house of career. Why? It is a secondary house of career. Tenth from tenth. Bhavat Bhavam. Concept. I hope everybody knows Bhavat Bhavam concept. Give me a second, something stuck in. So, seventh house of spouse, seventh house of business, seventh house of career, seventh house of Pada Prapti, meaning attaining position, standing on a stage, having an audience. People love to stand on stage. People of seventh house of show off. When you are on stage, you act differently. Don't you all agree to me? Yes. My sister in law, whenever she stands on stage, her accent changes from Indian English to American English. I can say this very nicely because my wife is in the balcony. She can't hear me. Suddenly, everything, her accent completely changes. That's how we are, all of us. When we stand on stage, we act differently. Our body changes, our body movement changes, our gestures change. Everybody loves to be famous, seven thousand of fame, show off. We love to show off our spouse. Correct? We feel proud. Oh, I married such a handsome man. Oh, I married such a rich man. Oh, I married such a beautiful girl. Oh, I married a very hot woman. Correct? These are the weaknesses. Human weaknesses. So these are the traps that you have to overcome. Now, the problem is, how does the Badak intensify? When malefics are placed in the Badak house, one condition. Second condition, the Badakesh is a malefic like Rahu, Saturn. Or other malefics. Or the Badakesh is aspected by a dire malefic. Or a functional malefic. So just repeat this point. When does the badak intensify? In some people, the badak is normal. In some people, it is too much. So the badak intensifies when it is having association of a functional or natural malefic like Saturn, Rahu, on an afflicted Mars. 
either by placement in the badak house or associating with the badak lord or aspecting the badak lord the natural common sense astrology agreed is everybody understanding if not i will repeat it sir if I it will. is becoming too much if it is becoming too much i don't mind stopping it there are so many more layers to this technique please feel free i understand we have a diverse audience over here beginners then bnn b bnn bigunandi nadi students who have done astrology for 10 20 years and blank chart prediction course where some of the students are 20 years into astrology blah 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 or 30 years so i, I tone it down can i ask you a question a very quick one sure. um, while discussing mahatma gandhi chart you defined natural badak houses okay and you mentioned aquarius is a natural sign based badak and the sixth house is the house based badak this is how i heard it i just wanted to confirm that basically we can use sixth house and 11th house as a natural badak or sixth sign or 11th sign also we can use natural badak yes have i got that okay yes okay. correct thank you okay quickly any questions palak had raised her hand long back is she there yes she is there palak parma i hope i am pronouncing her name properly you had raised your hand any questions before i go to shri ram swami yeah but yeah now no questions are and clear about that action promise me everybody after this lecture you all sir will concentrate on several example chart and you all will use these notes to understand that chart a from the physical events that are happening in that native slide and also what is the esoteric spiritual lesson for that person through badak yes somebody was asking sir can i ask you a question sure yeah it's regard to the dual sign that you gave the homework before uh, the break now for the dual signs we know that the seventh house is the badak house now uh, if we can we interpret it in that way that since the first house and the seventh house is the shiva and the shakti uh, so for all dual signs if uh, the person gets help of the wife uh, he will be it will be easier for him to get the obstacles in the life uh, 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 to cross the obstacles in the life much more easier Yes, if you understood, if I understood uh, your question correctly, I could not hear a little bit. The voice was cracking. Okay, for all dual signs, the spouse can be a badak, especially if badak, natural badak planets like Saturn and Rahu, are associating with the seventh house by conjunction, by aspect. then it becomes more now the trick of badak i'll show you a chart the trick of badak is not to just see it from the lagna i'll show you a chart this is my chart okay which is a sign gemini correct right sir which is the badak house the seventh what is the sign over there first thing first thing sign sagittarius 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 so you write down guru religion higher knowledge what did i say higher studies 
astrology. Sagittarius is astrology, natural 9,000. Astrologers. All these are obstacles for me. I am not even a graduate, by the way. I am not even a graduate. I could not do it. So higher studies is gone for a toss. Religion. I'm born as a Christian. I follow Hinduism. My Christian brethren don't accept me. They call me an outcast, Shudra, or Mlecha. Hindus don't accept me. Do you know how tough it was for me to be accepted in the astrological community? It took some time. Because eventually your work, your sincerity in your work in bringing out rare knowledge. When we did Saptarishi's astrology, many people accepted. Yeah, ultimately that will stand for itself. Yes, but it takes time. That's true. I have been kicked out because by great astrologers, great gurus, because I'm not a Brahmin. I'm not a Hindu also. I have been treated very bad. It's okay. Eventually, what happened? Eventually, when I came out in public platform, 7th house of public platform, people started loving me, going, and I should not be saying this, touching my feet, blah, 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 and all that. It doesn't matter, you know. But yes, even Brahmin started doing that, touching my feet, and I should stop that. Why? It's a sin. It's a sin to allow them to touch your feet. The sin comes to you. But eventually, see, it's, it's a double dichotomy. If Westerners come to India or Westerners are learning Vedic astrology, the gurus over here love it. Love saying, I have such and such a student in America. I have such and such a student in Serbia. But a Christian born in India is not accepted. Are you getting it? So it's okay. It's okay. Today people don't do that distinction against me. Coming ninth sign, ninth house in the natural zodiac is an astrologer. I'm not an astrologer. I could never learn astrology. I can never predict when marriage will happen, when job will happen. When disease will go away, blah, blah, blah. I never ever concentrated on that because for me, that is ridiculous astrology. It is like a nachanya. It's like a dance bar astrology. For me, I'm more interested in finding out what's the pending karma, how do I solve it, and how do I progress to the next level. Now, that is the toughest part to implement for anybody. Even after you know it. For example, I know my anger is my biggest enemy. Controlling my anger has been an impossible task. Controlling my ego has been an impossible task. Now, what is the trick? So now, what do you see? Who's the Badakesh? Badakadipati Rahu. Natural Badakadipati. So here it becomes double power. Double event. Right. Unfortunately, this Rahu is debilitated. It becomes again double, four times power. The Lord of Badak sign has gone in the eighth house. Again, double powerful, double negative, eight times. Unfortunately, it is debilitated. Again, powerful, 16 times. Are you all understanding? So it is like Zanzir movie. It is like a wall of steel. 
in front of you that you have to overcome. It is in the seventh house of business. I know still I can't do business. I'm a pathetic businessman. Only losses, losses, losses. I should be in crows. I should be running in crows with the kind of reputation Saptarishi is exploring. Billionaire. I should be a billionaire. There was vice president of ICIC, a bank from Hyderabad. Okay. And he told me 14 years back, he said, if we do the valuation of Saptarishi's astrology, it's impossible to do the valuation of Saptarishi's. You guys are like billion. Of course, those days we were doing some great work. Now we are not doing any of that great work. Those days we were into hunting manuscripts, buying it, getting it by hook and crook, getting it translated, giving it out free to people, etc. and all that. So we did all that. Now the key, whenever you are doing an assessment of the Badak house, please write this down. You are doing it from Lagda only, correct? To understand the deeper meaning of how it will translate, how these obstacles will translate, you have to see it from Chandra Lagna. Are you all getting it? So now, from Lagna, it is 7th house. From Chandra Lagna, it is 5th house. Now combine the story. 7th house, 5th house. So students, ego, mindset, phobias will play out this badak role. The role will be played out via Chandra from the reference point of Chandra. This nobody teaches. Only experienced teachers. Are you getting it? If, if you see from the Chandra Lagna, the mind will be more active to uh, get the result from the mind, mind. My mind is my biggest enemy in my business. Sir, and in all it, relating to 7th house. Sir, is it because Moon is placed in Leo, Leo 5 natural with the students? That is a double whammy. That is a double whammy. But the first whammy is where? Badak is 5th from Chandra. So my students become my obstacles. They have ruined my mind. They have ruined my mentality. I am scared to teach. This course I am teaching after four years. Four years I have not taught any course. I often go into a shell. Four years back what I taught was a daily prediction course. That was after four or five years. So it takes me four or five years of inactive business. I suffer. Business suffers. Income suffers. Everything suffers. But yes, I have been lucky. Whenever I come back after four five years, I get some good students. And some bad students also in that course. When I taught the daily prediction course, Vinayak, Neeraj, Ricardo, Dinesh Tabe, all these people were very good students. Hard work. Then I should teach them privately, on the phone. From 11 o'clock in the night till 6 o'clock in the morning, I have gone continuous, continuous, many a times, till 4 o'clock. I used to call them and say, Sabko conference mein dalo. put everybody in conference. That's the mood. Because when I teach, I don't want to be interrupted. Anyway, so you have understood, the story gets completed, the layer of it, of how this Badak is going to play out, it gets completed via Chandra. Are you getting it, everybody? Quickly, before we end the day. Ah, not this chart. Okay, let's take that chart. This is Lord Krishna's chart. Which is the Badak sign? 
वॉट इज द वर्ड यूज धर्म वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ धर्म राइटियसनेस द राइट एक्शन Dharma teaches you righteousness. Please understand, righteousness changes from yuga to yuga, period to period, every ten years. Are you getting it? Who is sitting over there? Mars. 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 Yud. Mars is exalted or debilitated? Exalted. 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 Who is Mars? Commander in chief. Warrior. Warrior. Was he indirectly commander in chief? Yes or no? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Was he involved in a war? Yes, yes. or no? No. Who is Mars? Mars is twelfth lord and seventh lord. Both are Maraka houses. Last time I explained to you Laga Parashri Shloka, Lagu Parashri Shloka. Correct? Just one second. So Lagu Parashri says second, seventh, and twelfth are Badak. Sorry, our Maraka. Maraka means death. Indirectly, war creates death. Directly, indirectly, he was involved in it. For what he did it to establish dharma. So, what was the obstacle for him to get justice, to get dharma? He surpassed that. Are you understanding the spirituality, esoteric spirituality? Are you all understanding? Yes or no, Baba? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, if you are at a mundane level, you will say, "Sri Krishna was involved." Sri Krishna was involved in creation of so many deaths. That is at an outer level. Correct. Common man level, esoteric level. He, the full story, Vijay Dinanath Chauhan story is what? He was to establish dharma. So there were lot of obstacles, and he circumnavigated those obstacles and created dharma through war. Simple. If he is God, question we have to ask: If he is God, he could have stopped this war from happening. Am I right or wrong? If you study Mahabharata clearly, if you study Mahabharata clearly, you will realize there were many instances where he could have avoided war. Right? Yes, sir. He could have very easily avoided war, and at the same time he is God, so he could have avoided war in two seconds. But no, are you all understanding? Ninth house is Guru. He became through Bhagavad Gita the Jagat Guru. Are you understanding? देखो ये बड़ी बात है. The Badak story tells the complete life story. It's a big thing. If you understand how to use badak and you know the life story of the person in front of you, you practice it on ten charts, twenty charts, fifty charts. You'll realize badak is actually telling you the main story of your life. Yes or no? Especially the senior astrologers present here today. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
कार थकेला है यस मत बोल दिल से यस सेव फ्रॉम योर हार्ट यस सर आई नो यू गाइस आई हैड सी माय माइंड ओके नाउ व्हाट इज द अदर पार्ट ऑफ द स्टोरी द लॉर्ड ऑफ इट सैटर्न इज गोइंग टू द सिक्स हाउस ऑफ नेचुरल बाधा correct yes or no yes sir is it an exalted saturn yes the story has to be big mars is exalted story has to be huge each dispositor saturn is exalted story has to uh, has to be big far bigger 6000 of war 6000 of enemies correct it is with rahu expansion expansion huge rahu is natural bada again and who is this rahu this rahu is 10th lord of karma who is this saturn it is again 10th lord of karma so what is the karma of shri krishna to do what to destroy the enemy simple are you all understanding the greatness of this technique now combine it with chandra lagna from chandra lagna what is this badak house ninth of dharma correct badakesh from chandra lagna where is it sixth of war and enemies is the story getting more layers are you all understanding my dear friends yes sir. yes sir yes let's go final chart of the day let's go to shri ram's horoscope padak house which house फैमिली लाइफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन डिजायर्स करेक्ट दी लॉर्ड ऑफ एट इज सिटिंग इन द नाइन्थ हाउस बींग एक्साइटेड सो समथिंग बेग it is with the second lord of family surya in the ninth house of father son is father ninth house is father are you all understanding so if he follows dharma there will be obstacles there will be obstacles in following dharma because of his father he went into 14 years of exile are you all understanding yes how beautifully this is working and all this is also happening from chandra lagna who is with an exalted jupiter so something big ninth house is your legal wife dharma patni it's called religious wife loosely translated he faced sir, so many obstacles in marriage like the wife we see from 7th house or 9th house 7th ma'am second house 4th house 7th house 9th house 11th house and 12th house basics of astrology 24712 why second house is family spouse is an addition in family fourth house is ghar wali domestic happiness domestic life so again spouse is fourth seventh house obviously is marriage ninth house is legal wife dharma patni it's called dharma patni patni means wife dharma means religion you marry out of religion true religion 
through religious rituals, ninth house, religious rituals are ninth house. Twelfth house is bed pleasures. Twelfth house is pending karma of marriage. Because it is sixth from seventh. Sixth house is pending karma. So from any house, the sixth house will show what is its pending karma. Big technique. We can't go in it today. Huge technique for spiritual elevation or guiding people what they are supposed to do in this life for each areas of life. He established what is that word? Single wife. In olden times, people used to have many wives. That means single wife religion or rightest way. He did not after he left uh, his wife or his wife left him, he did not remarry. As a king, he could have remarried. Are you all understanding? Because the sign over there is Pisces, all this is past life relation or something to do with the past. He came in his original role as Lord Vishnu. He was an obstacle in the marriage of Narad Rishi. We all know that story, correct? Yes, sir. So marriage, ninth house, Venus is placed over there, becoming a Badak, Badakesh Badak. Are you getting it? Then you can add various layers. Saturn is retrograde. It will go to third house from fourth house. It will go one house before. Aspecting this Badak, servant became the Badakesh in the marriage. Fourth house is mother. Saturn is step treatment, step mother. It is exalted. So it has to be a royal step mother. So it's Stepmother Kaiki was the reason for the obstacle. Badak means your story starts with it. Your story of life starts with Badak and ends with Badak. Simple. That's the real astro science. The reason you're born. Simple. I'll end our class with that thought. The more you see charts, you will realize. You will realize by that concept, what you have learned today, of course, I have not uh, taught it completely, but it's complete in itself. Okay? What I learned today, people don't teach like that. People don't use it like that. I learned the Badak concept many years back. But it took me a long time to realize the greatness of this technique. It's one of the most beautiful techniques. Provided you have practiced it on thousands of charts. So I have told you my personal life. I have told you the lives of Sri Krishna, Sri Ram, and so many others. The thing that you need to do is study it on several charts. And see how Badak is playing out. Initially, you will feel that this is Instantly, you will get it that this is a past life enemy coming, which is fine. If you study Nadi astrology, Nadi astrology talks about, oh, you did so and so thing to somebody in so and so life. Now that person has reincarnated as your son, as your friend, as your wife or husband in this current life. Okay. But beyond that is the real spirituality. The real spirituality is only about we ourselves creating our own lesson. We ourselves making it tough, tough, tough. Like how Sri Ram did. How Lord Krishna did. If they are reincarnating, it can't be a normal story. Na? It can't be a Sasbahu story. 
It has to be a super SaaS Bahu story. It has to be a super story. We can understand their life with only one technique of astrology, Bada. Are you understanding what we did? We explained their whole life with just one technique, Bada. Am I right or wrong, ladies and gentlemen? These are the beautiful techniques of astrology that you fall in love with. But the problem we do is we learn 20,000 techniques. So we don't know which technique to use when we see a new chart. And that's the reason I always say Learn few techniques, 